218 done woke up with the hangover like you should on new year's day so just had breakfast it is midday a very slow start to my day and i've just got my book delivered yesterday that i want to start reading which is all about herbs how do you how can i use herbs in my daily life so right now my goal this year is to build a full-blown herb garden that i can make a big strong macronutrient smoothie where i can have all different herbs that are good for all the parts of my body like my brain my liver um, my heart my blood all the fun stuff so i'll show you guys my garden that i've got going on so far so i've got some aloe vera here that i add into smoothies and water these are dandelions you eat the leaves and put them in salads they just got watered so they're not very happy right now this is a bit of lettuce that i got from the supermarket and i just replanted that i'm playing with this is some celery that is going to die because i do not have it in a big enough pot i just wanted to play around that died some more aloe vera and then this here will be sunflowers in a couple weeks this was a gift from my business partner so this would be a two meter high sunflower and these will all be mini ones and i'm so excited oh to be honest i'm the type of person that has killed three aloe vera plants when people say you literally cannot kill an aloe vera plant so the fact that i've got a garden and the fact that things are growing and not dead yet is a pretty big deal for me so i'm really excited to start making 219 my healthiest year yet so i'm down 10 kilograms now for my 20 kilogram plus weight fluctuation from my thyroid i for the first time in two years my thyroid is now under control so i'm very excited i've got about eight kilograms to go this year i'm not focusing on powerlifting this year i want to focus a lot more on my strength my jiu-jitsu the last couple weeks i've been bouldering which is rock climbing with that ropes i'm going to start surfing and snorkeling and I want to start um, scuba diving, so I want to do a lot more activities this year. So I'm very excited. On top of that, with my jiu-jitsu and building my business. I thought I was nailing this hangover thing, and I was pretty proud that I did not get a hangover today. And then 10 minutes ago, everything just seemed to hit me at once. And now I feel like shit. And this is the second time I've had alcohol in a whole year. And the first time was literally two weeks ago for a Christmas um, party celebration thing. And now I'm starting to remember why I actually don't really drink. Because it really takes out your whole day. Because it is past midday. And all I want to do is go back to bed and watch a movie and do nothing. Tonight I'm going to the Brisbane Open to watch tennis. I've never watched tennis before in my life. My business partner used to be really big in the tennis scene. So we're going with him and his family, which should be a lot of fun. But i got to try and get through this hangover first. And I don't really know any hangover tips. So, so far I'm drinking water and I really want to go to the shop and get a really big bunch of ingredients for some big vegetable juice or something to hydrate me back to life <laughs> so much fun swimming today at my parents pool it was nice and relaxing my goal was to read my book but my parents were too distracting having fun and we're just hanging out chatting so i didn't get a chance to read any of my book but then my dad and i took a trip to the local uh, shopping center and i wanted to check out some snorkeling gear so one of my goals this year is to start snorkeling i'm going down to newcastle in new south wales in a couple weeks to go see some family and help out with some stuff so i'm there's some awesome snorkeling areas there so i'm going to get my snorkeling kit this week my dad's going to drive it down with him and i'm flying down in a few weeks and then i'm going to test out my new snorkeling gear i have one in mind that i want to get and i'll show you guys when i get it but if you guys have a better brand or something that i should be looking at please recommendations below but i'm pretty pumped to start snorkeling i have a brother that's moving into town in about five six weeks and he used to do a lot of fishing and snorkeling and spear fishing so when he gets out we're going to start deep sea fishing off Australia, some of the best places and then i want to start um, maybe potentially spear fishing if i like fishing so I'm actually really excited for that. And then this April, my goal is to book to go to the Great Barrier Reef, which is one of my goals and on my bucket list. And I'm looking at snorkeling and scuba diving and some adventure climbs and stuff whilst I'm there. So I'm pretty pumped for an extremely adventurous 2019. The thing is, with being a single female and I guess single at any time, people think that you can't have fun unless you're in a relationship. And too many people have this idea that your whole life should be about finding that special someone 
when I think you should be finding ways to live a life and then if someone overlaps your path and you guys click and you end up having this beautiful relationship then yes go you it's a magical thing but yes it is rare to find that perfect relationship most relationships aren't perfect and there's a lot of issues so I'm trying to live the life that I really want to live and I want to live a very adventurous and fun life and now that I've built a body that is strong and healthy and happy then I'm going to make 2019 my adventurous year. <laughs> I've got an early dinner tonight because I'm going to try and commit to this whole fasting thing. Wish me luck on that one. But I made some stuffed kangaroo today in some capsicum. And I had this at a party on New Year's Eve and it was absolutely delicious. So I've got that with a lot of salad because I just finished rock climbing and I am starving. And this is going to be the last thing I eat today. So I threw in so many greens in order to fill up my little tummy. Okay, kind of big tummy. But I did watch tennis last night at the Australian Open and absolutely loved it. I had quite a few messages from people saying that they saw us on TV. Apparently the camera was on us quite a bit. And it was a really good first experience watching tennis the very first time. I've never watched a full game. So my business partner's daughter was next to me and the whole time. I was just getting her to explain absolutely everything to me. So I think she was kind of sick of me by the end of it.